Honestly, after learning this news this morning, I feel like Riverdale is actually looking like a good show now. It's hard to even keep a straight face while saying this, but Hype House is coming to Netflix! Anyways guys, what's up? Welcome back to Drama Queen. I hope you're all having a stunningly crispy day. Stunningly crispy. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. So it has been reported that <laughs> the Hype House is going to be having a reality show that is coming to Netflix soon. And there has been so much controversy surrounding it, especially on TikTok. There are people who are changing their subscriptions to Hulu or canceling their subscriptions or making people aware to not like watch this, don't even hate watch it. And mind you, it's like, <laughs> I don't really care about what these people are doing off of TikTok when they're not doing dance videos and that's what other people are saying as well. It is my own personal opinion that I just don't find these people interesting whatsoever. I don't find them interesting enough to even have a reality show on Netflix. I really don't want to be mean whatsoever just because, you know, I don't find these people interesting. I don't even watch their content to begin with anyways. But who is exactly going to be in this Hype House show? Because isn't Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio getting their own reality show soon? Or don't they already have it? I really don't fucking know, man. Pop Sugar reports TikTok's Hype House is getting its own show. On Thursday, Netflix announced that social media stars and Hype House members Kova, Nikita Dragon, Sienna May, Chase Hudson, Larry Merritt, Thomas Petro, Alex Warren, and Jack Wright will be starring in a new reality TV series on Netflix. While a release date has yet to be announced, according to the synopsis, the currently untitled show will follow the social media stars as they come into their own, fall in love, and tackle the next stage of their lives. We already know that reality shows are staged. There's lots of stage kind of dramas, uh, love scenes, and all of that kind of shit. I mean, as we've seen on the Kardashian show, a lot of the stuff on there is staged, but they still make it interesting enough to watch, you know? Uh, for this, I, I guess, like, I guess they really have to show us what they have got because outside of doing TikTok dances, I, I already don't know much about these people. Now, it, it's really strange to me because Netflix cuts and stops putting a lot of favorited TV shows and movies. They just completely cut them off of Netflix, but they're funding something like this that I feel like the people at Netflix would be like, yeah, that's what the young people want. Yeah, this is what people want to watch. And it's just like, there's already such negative feedback about this already. And I mean, I, I don't really feel too negative about it. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like, I don't really care that there's a reality series coming out about them because it's not like I'm going to watch it anyways. But there's a lot of anger and a lot of frustrations with this show coming to Netflix. And to be quite honest with you guys, I didn't even think Hype House was a thing anymore because I remember, I think it was Charlie and Dixie and a few other people used to be a part of the Hype House, but because there's so many fucking houses in Los Angeles, it's so hard to keep track of like which house these people belong to. But in saying that, it's just like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If you don't like it, don't watch it. It's what I'm doing anyways. I'm not canceling my subscription because the Hype House is coming to Netflix. They just won't get my view. They won't get my time. And I think if anyone wants to blame anybody here, it's Netflix for even having this idea for having a reality show about them. Because again, it, it really isn't that deep to me. I'm just not gonna watch it, period. And it's funny because I've seen so many other people say like, I'm just gonna watch it to make fun of them, but, but you're giving them what they want. They don't care if you're watching it to make fun of them. They, they don't even care if you're watching it because you love them. They just care about what goes back into their pockets. And you know, this is a huge deal. Netflix wants to work with TikTokers. Like on one hand, I congratulate them. Good on them, I guess, for securing a bag. But on the other hand, it's like... Now anyways, guys, with that being said, please let me know what you think down the comment section below. At the end of the day, these are just my opinions. 
opinions if you don't agree with them that is completely okay because you are entitled to your opinion just as much as I'm entitled to mine. With that being said everybody I hope you have an absolutely lovely rest of your day night or afternoon wherever you are around the world and I will see you guys in my next video. Hey I just got into my mouth. Ew.